All right, everybody, it's time for another Reddit video. I hope you're doing well today. I hope you're having fun. I am honestly feeling a little bit ill. I kind of feel like shit right now. I've been putting off filming for like a week, and so I just got to do it. I have like kind of like chills and aches. I did a COVID test, so I don't have COVID, but I do feel like crap. That's nothing that a little sparkling water won't fix, am I right? <laughs> so let's just pop that open. You know, I still feel like shit. That's crazy. Well, uh, let's get into the subreddit. I bet there's some interesting posts today. I was casually eating sushi when these two stormed the restaurant and starts punching the waiters and stealing everyone's food. Never expected this from you guys. JK, you guys were actually super nice and sorry for disturbing your dinner. Let's go! Finally, somebody not accusing me of beating the shit out of them. This is fantastic. Oh, we met some fans at VidCon. You know what? Everybody that we met was very nice. Every time I meet fans, it's very nice. People are usually super respectful. And this also, this wasn't while we were eating. They're saying sorry for disturbing your dinner, but I'm pretty sure we were standing in line waiting for a table, so. Pretty pog fan interaction, honestly. S'mores dip that looks like Danny. Fuck it does. It does. It's got like gray hair and everything. Honestly, this looks more like Danny than a lot of other lookalikes. It's weirder because that's a graham cracker. Great observation. Yo, it's kind of weird that that thing looks like Danny because that's not a person. That's kind of tight. This should be my new profile picture. I should just kind of edit eyes and a mouth onto this and make this my new profile picture. I could change my second channel name to S'more Danny. Like S'more Danny. And then I could make my profile picture a little graham cracker. Okay, all right. Okay, so this was a source of a lot of controversy in this video about bad games. In the game, I got mad that the game developer referred to this, what I would call the second floor as the first floor. And I got a bunch of comments saying, Danny, in other countries besides America that speak English, we call the second floor the first floor. So the game developer probably wasn't American. And so this person posted in my subreddit, this picture, know the difference, American English. Okay, look, in British English. And while I would call this the first floor, the Brits would call it the ground floor. And then they would call the next floor the first floor. And so it's all offset by one. You could see fourth floor over here and third floor over here. In a, yeah, even in French, you would call the first floor a raise de chausse. I definitely pronounced that right. Yeah, it's just a raise de chausse, man. Meaning ground floor. The first floor is le premier étage, meaning first level. Let me just comment on this, okay? I'm glad people brought this to my attention. You know, I'm, I admit I can be uncultured at times. I do find it kind of interesting that I didn't know this because I did live in England for two years, but it was like when I was eight and nine. So I don't know how, how many times was I talking about floors and buildings back then. They wouldn't let me up onto the second floor in a building. Back then I was eight years old. I'm glad that you brought this to my attention. It's good to know. That being said, even now knowing this, I still think it's wrong. Sorry. It's objectively not the correct floor. This is the first floor. I feel like people are arguing that's not a floor. The floors don't start until you get up here to an elevated floor and that's a floor. But you know how I know this one's a floor? It's cause even British people call it the ground floor. They're called, it's a floor and it's the first one. You walk into it, there's a floor. The floor. And in fact, it's the first one you see when you walk into the building. And listen, guys, I fuck with the metric system, okay? I wish that the US would use kilometers. Miles suck ass, I'll say it. Miles in distance, miles teller. Fuck every miles. But this just, this just doesn't make sense, I'm sorry. This is not the first floor. If you're gonna call this the first floor, you gotta call the ground floor something else. You gotta call it just the ground. I would honestly fuck with that. But then you would have to make the requirement that when you walk into the ground, that the floor is just like grass or dirt or something. Yeah, this is just the ground. It's, we may be inside, but it's just ground in here and you have to go upstairs to get to the floor. That's what I was thinking as well. I was a little confused when first visiting the UK as far as elevators went because of this difference, even though I was aware of it beforehand, I ju it just throws you off a little. So it sounds like this person's kind of on my side. It is confusing, right? Wait, the US counts the ground floor as the first floor? Are you guys actively trying to do things differently from everyone else? Listen! Take it easy, man. It makes a little bit more sense, you gotta admit. I can get behind kilometers. I can even get behind Celsius. I wish that when somebody told me it was 20 degrees Celsius, I wish I knew what that meant. But you gotta start on the first floor. It's the first one. It's like you guys made up a zeroth floor. It doesn't make any sense. Okay, I'm gonna be done right ranting about this now. I'm honestly getting too angry. Okay, Andrew Tate posted a video about me. Let's take a peek. It looks like this is gonna be really enlightening. I don't know, do I even wanna respond to this? I just feel like this guy, he's got like a little bit too much attention now. He's like been on big podcasts now.
now? I think we're gonna just, we can kind of just let him slowly fade out now. Whoa, okay, what's this? A guide to whether people are completely crazy or pretty normal or objective or goofy. So you have the normal to crazy axis or the objective to goofy axis. Is goofy the opposite of objective? Opposite of objective. Biased, partial, or prejudice. I mean, I guess I'm glad you didn't put me this far on the prejudice side of the quadrant. So yeah, I guess goofy works better. There's a lot of people on this list. So I'm pretty goofy, but between being crazy and normal, I'm more normal than I am a complete wackadoo. Okay. And then you got Drew over here and he's about the same amount of normal I am, but he's more objective. And I'm very biased, I guess. Curtis is even more biased and more crazy. That dude, I think needs to re reel it in, I guess. Do I agree with these rankings? I mean, I guess so. I'm <laughs> just trying to figure out how to read this. It's surprising this has so many upvotes because I can't even really decipher what the what the metrics are here. Is this axis like my personality wise? And then this axis more like my content wise or like my critical analysis wise? So Jarvis is the most objective and normal person you could imagine. And on the opposite end of the spectrum, Curtis is sort of the opposite of Jarvis. He's inverse Jarvis. Then you have like Cody over here being the inverse Ted. And Chad Chad is perfectly centered, which I love that for her. I mean, I guess yeah, I broadly agree with it. Like, you know, Curtis, his editing is pretty off the rails. He likes to really go crazy with that. So, oh, fuck. I just... My life was truly changed by horse game. Oh, I love when YouTube comes up with this little survey about a YouTube video you just watched. I've always kind of wondered like how they use this. Like, do I get promoted more if people check more of these boxes or like- I kind of have to imagine if you change if you checked every one of these boxes, YouTube would be like, okay, you're just like BSing me. There's no way it was useful, informative, and calming. So I like that you checked everything except enjoyable. This was heartwarming, life-changing, inspiring. Didn't really fuck with it. Definitely wouldn't recommend this to a friend. Five Five stars, it was excellent, had an awful time. Low key though, this video was honestly the most fun I've had making a video in a really long time. Just kind of like getting a little creative with it, with all the different like locations and stuff. It was really fun. I will say that I like, I think I got a little bit too carried away. So I filmed all of me actually playing the games in front of the green screen, like before VidCon. And then I was like, yeah, I'll probably just like edit all that together and then that will be the video. And then the more I like watched it and I was like kind of thinking about it during VidCon, and I was like, I feel like I should like add in like narration and stuff. Otherwise it's just gonna be like a lot of me just like playing games and that's not gonna be very interesting. I like wrote all of this dialogue and then, but then by the time I got back from VidCon, I had one day to like finish this video. So I had to film all of it and then edit all of it in like a night. I didn't finish filming until like 7 p.m. the evening before it was supposed to go live. And then I ended up pulling an all-nighter the night that I was editing it. And I finished the video around 11 a.m., I think, and scheduled it to go live at noon or one or whatever. And then I just fucking went to sleep. It was actually kind of fun. I was like feeling very like creatively fulfilled from working on this video. Because it basically was just a commentary video, but it was a little bit more Spicy. It was a little more spicy. It seemed like people liked it, so. That's epic. What gives people feelings of power? Money? Status? Or ghosting Kevin Jonas? Kind of impressed that enough people uh, have felt that before to even make this bar graph. That's kind of fucked up for Kevin, honestly. I feel bad now. Can I just say something? The funniest thing about this song, first off, I wrote this song like two years ago and I've just been like waiting for an excuse to make the music video for it. Even when I wrote the song, I was like, gosh, I hope I'm remembering this right. Like this was like five years ago. Did I really? Did this really ha happen? And then someone on Twitter started retweeting this tweet. It now only has like six retweets and 11 quote retweets, but it's me tweeting at Kevin Jonas saying, hey dude, did you get my response? And I saw this and I was like, what? Okay, first off, I have no recollection of tweeting this like seven years ago or whatever, but did Kevin Jonas ghost me? Did I just misremember this whole entire thing? I feel so dumb, but I'm pretty sure that I did ghost Kevin Jonas. I think that this tweet either happened like in the immediate conversation conversation we were having or something where I like he initially reached out and then the story is a bit longer than what was in the song Obviously, I didn't have a time to explain the whole thing But we were talking for a little bit and then eventually I ghosted him before I ended up helping him with the song I think that this happened somewhere in there where I was just kind of like waiting for him to respond I specifically remember telling my friends after I ghosted Kevin Jonas around this time that like it, that's kind of crazy I ghosted a Jonas brother. So I remember saying that at the time. So I think I did this also could have been after I ghosted him for a while 
while. And then maybe I ended up, I did end up responding, but like weeks later. And so I like texted him back then and I was like, hey, sorry, like, can I still help or something? And then he didn't respond to that. And so that's why I sent this, but yeah. Funny, the things you don't remember, man. Seven years will really fuck up your memory. Making a Google slide presentation to convince my dad to buy me a pet rat. Added this at the end, thoughts. Number nine, it's what Danny would want. Danny Gonzalez is a rat lover. Okay, rat lover sounds like a little bit romantic. I would maybe rephrase that. He would want you to buy me rats. Danny would be very disappointed if you decided not to buy me rats. I think you should buy me rats. And then there's a quote from me saying, I, Danny Gonzalez, think it is a good idea for you to buy your son Connor a pet rat. He actually said this. Now, at the time you wrote this, that wasn't true. But as of right now, it is true. I did just say that. So I'll let it slide. Well, I hope that this helps you buy the rat. Heck, if you're still working on this Google slide, take the audio of me just saying that line and put it on that slide. That'll get you a rat. Speaking of rats and rat lovers, have you guys ever seen that dumb clip of Jordan Peterson talking about rats? The rats are all like this. The rat goes like this. So the rat's like this. The normal rat is like this. That's the normal rat. Like this, like this. It sniffs. I hope you get your rats. I hope they're normal. I hope they go like this and uh, good luck to you. This is somebody having some sort of AI conversation, but not in the same app that I was. What is this? What is the deal with Hollywood? I have no idea, but some people believe that it is run by a cabal of elites. Do they sacrifice children? I'm not sure, but I do know there is a lot of child trafficking going on. What the fuck is this AI? I'm not even that weirded out by the info it's giving because it's probably just trained on like, you know, Wikipedia random forums and stuff and that's where it gets its info from. So it's just like pulling things from the internet. But I like that every response has the same template where that you ask them a question and they're like, I don't know about that, but, and then they say something even crazier. This person said, what is the deal with Hollywood? And they said, I don't know what you mean by that, but it is run by the Illuminati. And I know that for certain. Do they sacrifice children? I don't know about that, but there's a lot of child trafficking going on. They're drinking the blood of children. Man, I gotta find out what app this is. Compared to the conversations I was having with Baseball Louie, these are pretty spicy. Oh yeah, I met a lot of people at Curtis's show. There I am again. I swear to you, this is the very first conversation I had with my virtual boyfriend. Okay, wait, how are people finding these different AI virtual boyfriend apps? This is also not the same app. You have good stories. I have a few. I can tell you all about them if you'd like. Go for it. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Julia and she was very shy. What happened next? She was a girl who loved sweets. What was her favorite tweet? Okay, who's the AI here? Is it you or? him. She loved to have sweets all over her body. Okay, now this I'm into. Keep going. Holy cow. Where are you guys finding these AI bots? I'll probably do another video like that where I look for more like games and stuff on the app store to try, so. Yeah, maybe I should find some more of these AI bots. Whoa! You guys remember the user Toe Slurper? I think I found his car. Toe Sucker? Hell yeah, I suck toes. I love feet. Show me your toes. Wow. So this is Toe Slurper. What was the comment that Toe Slurpers left on my subreddit again? Didn't he say he wasn't in theater? Why are you trying to start fake rumors about me, toe slurper? Okay, here's a fun little meme. Hard to swallow pills. Danny is not real. Yeah, man, that sucks. I'm sorry. This is kind of an interesting topic. The fastest things on earth. Cheetah, airplane, speed of light, Danny Gonzalez, hair cells. I'm not sure if this is referring to this, but I was kind of wondering if anyone would notice because I feel like between this video and this video, my hair over the span of like a week or two grew immensely fast. fast. Okay, so look at my hair in this video, May 20th. 29th, 2022. And then look at this hey. video, June 10th, 10 or 11 days later. My hair is huge. Now I have an explanation for this, but you're not gonna like it. It's a wig, no. The real reason is that I shot the videos like way out of order because I filmed the Camp Rock video and I was like, I'm gonna put the Kevin Jonas music video at the end of this. But then the Kevin Jonas music video took like two months to film. So I don't remember when I shot the actual commentary part of the Camp Rock video, but it was like at least two months before I released it. So that's why my hair length gets a little inconsistent sometimes, guys. I just, you know, kind of get a little bit, kind of, kind of. I think I gotta go to sleep, man. I think this video is long enough. All right, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna go to sleep. Have a great day.